What's happening guys? It's Hunter. Thanks for checking in with me this morning here. Beautiful morning, Saturday. Um, out here at home, a little bit of cloud cover coming in later on. Got the mountains in the background. I don't know if you can tell, let me stop walking here, but some good mountain action in the background. But I'm bringing you here today because last weekend, mailbox got run over, backed over. We got a bunch of delivery uh, for the horses down at the barn, bunch of boxes, and they brought in a big truck and they didn't see the mailbox. So old mailbox came right out over here. Got the old stump in the ground. We're actually just gonna leave it because we're gonna relocate it over here to the other side. We're gonna sink it two and a half to three feet. We're definitely gonna cut some pieces off and we're gonna notch these two together to make all this work, put the numbers on, but we're gonna do all that after we paint it. The same color as the house. So, hope you guys enjoy this. This is just gonna be a fun how-to. I'm gonna time last a lot of this and uh, hope you enjoy it. Check your local county or township or city. See what their rules and regulations on the heights. Um, here, we're gonna go for about 43 to 45 inches to the bottom of the mailbox. So I need to follow that with what I'm doing. But other than that measurement, guys, let's just go through it, check out the cuts, and let's start this, start this up. cutting and spinning there just had the saw on a 45 and all I did was put a nice little chamfer all around the edge just to kind of give it a little detail at the top cutting. Remember our post is set, we did our little chamfers to the top of the post, and we've got our other piece that's going to intersect, intersect through each other here, but all the flip in once again did all the chamfers to both sides, so it all looks uniform at all three points that are going to be finished. But now, I need to get my dimensions measured out so they both intersect each other meaning I'm gonna have to take half out of this piece and then half out of the post so they slide into each other for that strength. So let's mark it out. Let's figure this out together. All right, so remember, we're going two and a half feet down, 43 inches per our, per our city or per your township or per wherever you're at, find that code. On both pieces, we can only take out half. So when they intersect together, they lock into piece and they flush with the material.
All right, guys, thanks for bearing with me on that one. Um, we got both pieces notched out, so theoretically, they'll intersect together, and that's going to be our frame of the mailbox for the most part. So she'll go on, both intersect each other, slip down nice and tight. And there you go guys, she's in, she's nice and flush, intersected each other pretty nicely there, I'm pretty happy with how, how she worked. You know, it's definitely a beefier style mailbox. Hopefully no one hits it this time. Remember, we're setting it about two and a half deep. We're gonna cement it, make sure it's sturdy enough. But here's our mailbox. Now we're just gonna do one support arm in the center. And then we need to paint her all up. Alrighty guys, we got all our pieces. Next step, we've got it's used, but it's a latex exterior primer. And it did, we did have color mixed in it just to help, but we're doing a white primer here. Um, prime it all up. It's gonna sit for about an hour and a half in this Colorado weather. It's gonna dry super fast. I wanna make sure I get everything in between all the nooks and crannies and get every edge right now to seal all the wood, just with the primer. And then I'm gonna put it together after the primer. We're gonna paint it the color that we wanna paint it and then let it sit and fully dry before we put the mailbox on, the numbers, and before we finally set it in the hole. But we still gotta dig that hole. So first, let's paint this up so it can be drying while we're digging. Paint's drying. Fortunately, got some great cloud cover here for while I'm doing the, the most physical part of this job. But got a couple rocks on the ground here. That's where we uh, planned out where the post is gonna go. So then it can extend out to the road. But here we go, guys. Post hole diggers and a rock bar start busting through. And throughout the video, you'll see some technique, but just have fun watching because I'm going to be busting my butt. Let's do this. Just one side note real quick. I'm out here in the country. I know where our power's running into the house, our gas line. Our water lines are all on the other side of the house. I know that I'm digging down to nothing underneath me here. So I'm out of breath already, sorry. But just wanted to point out, if you're in a residential neighborhood and you're about to dig a two foot, two and a half foot hole to cement something, call the city, have them come out, inspect. It's free. Um, in my case, I don't need it. Like I said, I'm out in the country and I know I am good to go. So, just a side note. And there you have it, guys. I got my hole. I'm sweating, out of breath. But it feels good. Definitely a decent little workout cloud cover came or kind of came and gone but uh let you see what's going on here out of the shadow but got a hole about two and a half feet deep so now it's time to go back check on our paint see if it's dry enough to put it together to then put the uh, final color on it and then we'll go from there so let's do it Alrighty guys, looks like our paint is, or our primer paint, 
is pretty darn dry. It's, it's not even really tacky anymore on the outside. So I'm gonna get this thing put together. We're gonna put some three inch screws in there just to kind of secure it. We're gonna do another coat of paint and then we'll put the final brackets on it to really just beef it up, secure it, ready for the mailbox. Not get paint on you. Don't get paint on you, huh? What? Good girl. Good girl. You're warm. Go get in the shade. Go get some water. Go get some water. Good girl. All right, guys. It's together. It's built. We're gonna add the brackets later for more support, but it's good enough as it is. If I were just to put it in, but we're gonna put some decorative hardware on it a little later. Now is the step to add the final coat of paint or the color actually that's going to be matched to the house. Um, got my paint bucket down here. Exterior paint. I've already shaken the crap out of it, so should be plenty mixed. And I'm just going to start painting it, going around, guys, trying not to get paint everywhere. I'm not too concerned about the driveway as much, but. Uh, here we go, just gonna start painting it. mailbox like I said we got our numbers we got some hardware we got everything we need out here to uh, pretty much finish it and then go set it in the hole so let's get to it let's put all this hardware on my new mailbox here we are last step setting this baby into the hole and unfortunately carrying the 60 pound of concrete over here when I go went to drop it bag snagged on my on my wallet somehow tore open so now we got concrete all over but anyways we're just gonna push that in and it's gonna be no worries so what I need to do is we got the couple buckets of water we got our concrete all over the ground here I got my level, so I'm going to start pushing concrete in and trying to make this as level as possible um, in order for it to look nice. So, here we go. Start pouring concrete in. Truck driving by. So we know we're going to want it up a little bit. So, I'm going to start off by pushing some stuff in here in the front. Thank you. 
Alrighty guys, that's it. She's in. This is all sopping wet and all that's gonna soak in. Concrete's gonna harden down there. We got her set right at 44 to 45. So I'm just an inch or so higher than I really wanted, but setting it, making it level, getting it where I want it to be, kind of works its way up just a hair. But hey, we're happy. It's in, it's nice and level. She's gonna drive up, be able to access this nice and easy. Um, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you had fun. Just a quick how-to of a mailbox from start to finish. My own little whatever design and we might put like an LED light up here or do some sort of else decorative with it, hang a flower pot from it. You could kind of do whatever because it's sturdy enough and it's big enough to handle whatever we want. But if you enjoyed, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.